When I was younger, one of my favorite movies was, and still is, I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. Yeah! Even though it's a parody of African American culture, it still is a great movie filled with iconic actors such as all the Wayne's brothers and sisters, Bernie Casey, Chris Rock, Jim Brown, which we'll get to, Isaac Hayes, John Witherspoon, Don Lewis, Janet DuBose, etc. But today's story is about Jim Brown. Jim Brown is a legendary ex-football player, Hall of Fame, civil rights leader. He played a hardcore guy named Hammer in the movie, still in great shape at 53 in this picture. Which brings us to this movie, Any Given Sunday, another great movie with Pacino, Woods, LL Cool J and Jamie Foxx. Jim Brown was also in this one. This movie had many issues which we'll save for another day. Think of it as Clash of the Titans for African American actors which brings us to today's story. We have Bill Bellamy, Jamie Foxx, LL Cool J, and the defense coach was Jim Brown. And I gotta tell you, I gotta set this up. Jim Brown got on a koofy, it's red, green, and black. Black power. He got on a cut off shirt, some shorts and flip flops. Now I didn't know that Jim Brown taught issue. And you know, nobody knew that Jim Brown talked to issue at the time. So, you know, he would walk around while people were, you know, in another conversation and he would jump in real quick, say something crazy and walk out. Think of Jim Brown as a fusion in between Uncle Ruckus and Rick James. You know, he would step across the line. Habitually. He's a habitual line stepper. Ruckus Jameis. Dudes are playing chess. He'll walk by. Look at you, mother. Ain't nobody over here know how to play no mother chess. If I was playing, I'd black your black ass up. That's his attitude. And you're not even talking to him. Right. So he'd be like, yo, who's my You always, when Jim Brown come around, you always say, who's my So Jim Brown was always on the set talking sh We got a bunch of real football players and some hood dudes, real ones. They don't know Jim Brown. They too young. Right. They don't realize he's a legend, Hall of Fame, what he stands for, who he is. So they young and stuff. So they talking about football. One in, in Miami, where we were shooting the movie, if you went to the U, that's one thing. That's one some thing. cast went to Florida State. Right. Some cats went to the U. Right. And the U, it, to them, is better than anybody in the world. And Florida right. State feel the same. Right. So they over there talking, man, y'all ain't. Right. Bro, the U is everything. And Jim Brown, man, right. go all y'all motherfuckers. Right. 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 So you Jim know? Brown went to Syracuse. Okay. Okay. Wow, okay. And Jim Brown ran through everybody. Right. Jim Brown says to one of the dudes with the gold teeth and the braids who don't know who Jim Brown is, a hey, little motherfucker. Back in my day, I run through your little bitch ass. <laughs> Reach between his legs, pick Jim Brown up in the air like this, and body slam him. Oh, sh on the grab. Boom! <laughs> and Jim Brown had on some flip flops and a koofy. <laughs> and his koofy was over there. <laughs> Jim Brown said, God damn, motherfucker, I was just playing with you. He's like, where my goddamn goofy at, man? Get, give me my shoe. Because he's like 70. Like, right? He's 60 some years old. Right. Got body slammed with the grass. Boom. He was like, Mr. Brown, you cool? And he was like, God damn. <laughs> Motherfuckers don't understand a joke. I was stunned. I was trying to put his goofy on. I was like, yo, Mr. Brown. <laughs> I never did get a chance to meet the man, the myth, the legend of Jim Brown, but I was able to enjoy this story thanks to Bill Bellamy, and that's enough for me. What do you think? Did fame and glory get to his head, or was it just a mishap of generational communication? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, you're always welcome here, but we sure as hell aren't for everyone.